Hello, everybody. It's Cheryl from Cheryl's Organic Food Forest. Bria and I are cleaning out the greenhouse because we are expecting more rain tomorrow night. You see that we have tremendous growth on our cold crops, C-O-L-E cold crops. The lettuce is coming up really, really nicely, as well as the spinach. This, this is the stuff that I planted from seeds. And this is perpetual spinach right in here, and Swiss chard, and Savoy cabbage. I didn't plant that from seed, that was a gift. But all the smaller plants, as you can see, are doing very, very well. A lot of spinach, I love spinach. A volunteer marigold. Okay, get down, Bria. And I think I showed you this over here the other day. This is the uh, purple top rutabakers. <laughs> that I planted just before the uh, fl flood flash or uh, flash floods. And what I'll do is I will gently prick out when these get a little bit larger. I'll prick out some and evenly dispense them where there's not a cluster. So I'm just waiting for them to get a little bit longer. But they're good. Okay. And then we have a lot of collards going on over here. Let me show you. Those were all planted from seeds. The last batch from seeds are right in here in Society Garden. Whoa! And these are the two half 55 gallon drums that I grew the first sweet potatoes that I harvested yesterday in. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to plant some fruit trees. Mila, in look at this. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Bria. You found another little sweet potato root? Yes. Okay. And I found another one. And the, um, I'm going to let the tomatoes grow for until about November 15th. 15th. Then I will pull them. Actually, I'm not going to pull them. I'm going to cut them off at the surface and let them decompose in the ground because those roots will, um, enrich the soil and also it'll be food for the earthworms that feed upon uh dead plant life so i'm just gonna cut them off add some homemade compost um some azomite rock dust and what else am I? oh at worm castings yeah Mm -hmm. You all know how my brain freezes when I try to do a video, but it's all good. I, I get it in eventually. And I'm going to spread that top soil over there where I had uh, decreased the width of this bed. And then I'll lay craft paper on top of it and put the wood mulch down because the new greenhouse is going to go right here all the way to about here. Uh-huh, because it's 20 feet by 10 feet, so it's twice as big as that one. And maybe I'll be able to use it more efficiently because I keep getting, um, it's too hot in that greenhouse uh, past March or the 1st of April. And this greenhouse that I purchased is not expensive. It's one that you can take the cover off. So this bed will be housed in it. It's a pretty nice sized bed. And some of these strawberries are doing really well. We may get some. These are strawberries. Uh, the name of them are called Chandler. And I have two beds full. And uh, we may get another harvest of some before the first frost. Because they are really growing. And I have a couple of zinnia flowers planted in there too. Okay. Thank you all very much again for watching. Bye now.